Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's Take It Talks with me. Uh, every time we come up with a topic, and this time, who better to talk about our tricks other than our own Vibuff, right? And thanks, Vibuff. Uh, me and Vibuff have been talking a lot in the last few weeks. Like many companies are using all tricks and probably I'll start with the question directly and you can take it from there. It's like, why should companies really switch to all tricks? That's the main topic of the video today. And why don't you probably give us some info about this? Sure, Raghav. Um, thank you. Uh, it, it's a very wonderful question, I would say. All tricks. Uh, I would start with a small definition. Uh, what is Alteryx? So Alteryx is a self-service analytics platform which combines capabilities like data blending, data combining, and as well as predictive statistical features at one user interface. So it gives a organization a combined platform where they can interact with lot many application data sources together and provide an intuitive analytics capability at one platform and sharing with n number of users within the organization, making it a complete digital solution for analytics, which can save their costs and at the same time, give them a free hand to drive their data in different directions. Good. I mean, from this, there are many points what we can come out. So one of the points I have, I'll, I'll probably split it into multiple questions here. First question, what coming into my mind is, so because you said it's a complete digital solution, generally in our market, are there different products for different things and Alteryx can be a complete solution for one thing? So now I will try to explain you in different use cases form. Uh, to make it better understandable for you and the audience. So let's say uh, we talk about a simple BI solution uh, where a customer want to visualize their data to make a decision uh, for their business. Right. So what kind of technologies they will uh, like blend in in this uh, whole architecture? So first of all, there will be a simple data source from where the data will be coming. So it can be manual files, it can be uh, application which is providing data, or it can be any database that is hosting that data. So right. these can be different uh, types of data sources. Then comes the tool which will be doing uh, data transformation for them as there will be many business requirements because not every time data is uh, uh, customer sorted. So you have to transform it and make it as useful for business. And okay. at the third step, there will be a data visualization uh, where you will be uh, like uh, utilizing a tool like Tableau, Power BI, et cetera, for making it working for the end user to see those uh, data sets into a visualization form in a very simpler format so that uh, they can easily drive out, okay, this uh, particular uh, business is landing into this particular cost and will be completed by this particular date. So all, all these different KPIs that they have. So how can Alteryx be very driving in this situation is, it can connect to n number of sources with very less difficulty in comparison to others. So uh, in, in many cases, we, uh, ex like we do extra costing or budgeting for adding another tool to do certain tasks, but Alteryx solves them all. So uh, sometimes uh, let's take an example. So you have to mail your 30 different users at different locations with different data sets. So uh, you after doing the data transformation, you might need to add a tool which have the uh, mailing capability. So right. uh, what you can do with Alteryx is you can simply use its tools where for mailing and based on the filters and based on different conditions, you can send this data to multiple users. Now, second thing, like uh, Alteryx is really capable to transform the data in the format uh, which different BI tools adopted. So uh, you can directly generate the hex files for Tableau and similarly for uh, different file format for Power BI and other BI tools. So it, it gives you capability that you can directly transform that data into the uh, the tableau it like tools uh, to uh, grab it and directly show those visualizations so this is one of the greatest features then oh, okay. 
then it is really capable uh, in transforming your data from uh, uh, like you start with A and you end with Z. So th this is one of the greatest features. It gives you immense power to dr drive n number of transformations. Plus at the same time, uh, it gives you open capability of integrating Python and R scripting uh, to enhance those capabilities further, uh, which is a very driving factor. So in my case, uh, I, I was uh, connecting to different SAP interfaces where I was grabbing data. So uh, we, we have uh, challenges while uh, like dragging the data from the APIs in our uh, normal architecture. But when we blended it, uh, the Alteryx, uh, it was uh, very powerful. Like uh, uh, we uh, like driven out hundred of use cases on Alteryx through that. And uh, um, now we we are we have everything automated. We need not to wait for any person to uh, simply uh, do some job. It's just automated, and uh, we are getting reports at the end of the month and uh, how how we have scheduled it. So uh, it's it's really powerful. Awesome. So the few points what I definitely got out of this conversation already is like you have this automated Power BI Tableau data sets, which Alteryx creates. Uh, there is a lot of automation capabilities before, pre, during, and post, of course. But one of the important things what we should know is like usage, right? Somebody should use this tool. Um, is using this tool easy? And that is also one of the reasons why many want many people want to go to Alteryx because I come from Informatica background. I come from SSIS background. I don't say they are bad. They, they can have all the capabilities, but that can be overwhelming sometimes. You know, they had some, we have we had an expression transformation, we had a joiner transformation, we had a sequence table. It can do a lot, but it's a learning, big learning curve by itself. I mean, it can start slow, but it takes time. Yeah. But how about Alteryx? Like somebody can switch quick or yeah, um, I would say yes, because um, like if you uh, ha already have a data background and you know, like uh, you worked on different BI tools or as you said, you worked on Informatica before and you have the background on it. So switching to Alteryx will be very easy for you. Uh, I would not say that you will be a champion in one or two weeks, but you will actually able to grab the basics that how the data flows because it, it is very user interactive and you have a very strong community. So uh, even like uh, the help section of Alteryx is quite good. So you can uh, just search for the tool and how it works. And for every single tool, you have help and description and examples available in the tool itself. So uh, th that is an advantage for you. How's the community? Like if I, you're a very good point. So I'm I'm a dev, new developer, right? So in, in fact, I started working on Alteryx in my new job from last two to three months. And I think I'm picking it up. I see a good community, but I'm still learning, right? But how how is the community according to you? You've been an expert there because as a developer, you can just go, you might, you might get any question in the community or how do you see it? For me, as of now, it's been a good experience, yeah. So I would say it, it's really, really good because uh, you post a question and you get answers uh, in few hours. Uh, that That's I, how I see it. And oh. uh, even the Alteryx support team is quite good. You raise a ticket with them and you, you will get your answers uh, uh, pretty soon. Like they eventually like uh, plan a call with you, see your problem and pr propose a solution. And in case uh, they found that there is something uh, kind of bug in their tool, uh, they immediately uh, raise that concern. And in few weeks, you have the solution uh, or the update for, for that particular bug. So it, it's quite active and very strong community as well with the quite good support. Is Alteryx on cloud like other tools now? So uh, that that's a really good question here because uh, uh, right now, uh, most of the users who have worked have worked on the a desktop based application server of Alteryx, um, not the cloud version. So uh, there is a cloud version to Alteryx, which is a new powerful tool. Uh, how it it is beneficial is it not only generates uh, uh, a data transformation for you, but also have the visualization capability that, that enhances your experience further. And it's altogether a different platform uh, on cloud. 
um, you cannot compare the designer version with the cloud uh, because you there are many terminologies that have been changed entirely and uh, it will be a, altogether a different experience for you and uh, if you are an organization who are planning to switch to Alteryx, I would recommend that you must look for the cloud version too. Is the cloud version expensive? Because right now in my company, I think we are on a desktop version of it. It's hosted on a server and uh, there are a lot of challenges what we see there, right? Obviously, because certain team members who are trying to switch to a different tool because they have a data science use case, right? Um, Switching to cloud, is it like that easy? Do you know anything or it's okay if you don't know too, that's fine. Yeah. So um, switching, uh, I would say uh, the cost is one of a driving factor uh, when we take uh, any uh, change uh, for an organization to do an infrastructure change, but uh, uh, it totally depends on your use case. Um, you can negotiate with the Alteryx organization and find a right cost for yourself. Uh, it, it totally depends on number of users that you have and how many licenses you are going to buy. Uh, so all depends on that negotiation that while you are uh, like doing with the Alteryx and uh, the cost can be negligible as well as uh, uh, good for you depending upon your use case. Okay, so it's like a private cloud for your, uh, yeah. not like Snowflake or something where you can just go buy an account and start using it. So it's okay. not like that. Okay. I think that's a good uh, background to it. Few things, definitely. There are good points, what we said, like uh, it's a tool which has data blending at complete digital solution. It helps Power BI and Tableau data sets, a good community to learn. Uh, we have a lot of videos on the channel where you are already um, giving good information of some important tools and uh, features in Alteryx. But how do you see Alteryx progressing now? Cloud is the direction or is there any good features still on the pipeline? Are you, do you, are you know there is next product roadmap happening? A lot of new features coming in or how so, is it going? So if you go to Alteryx community, there is a section where you can request for new features or put a suggestion of new features. So uh, Alteryx is actively looking into those and uh, even providing solutions on those. So uh, if you go through that list, you will find an immense number of features that have been already requested. And out of them, many of uh, things are going to be published soon. So Alteryx is actively working to enhance their uh, both desktop and cloud experience. So uh, I will say uh, the market is really growing and they are up to the latest things uh, with that in the market. And at the same time, they, they, they are quite uh, uh, good in implementing all these uh, solutions. So thank you so much for that answer. I think it looks like you have very good features on Alteryx where you can have good um, roadmap of what is coming in. Um, but let's say if somebody wants to start learning, right? And they have seen our video for the first time, even though we have so many videos on the channel. But if you want to start learning, um, what's the best way still uh, if let's say there are two or three suggestions you want to start giving for somebody who wants to start how do you want to what is the best suggestion yeah so first thing i would say to them is go to the community and watch their videos they have immense collection of videos for every tool and every configurations so that would be my first suggestion Yes, they are typically designed for one simple use cases, but uh, as you get to get the knowledge about basics, you can explore further. Second would be what kind of challenges you will be facing. You can go to the community, post your challenges, and uh, you, you can get an immense uh, uh, response from the different active users who are already there. Plus, even the support teams uh, answers your queries. Okay. Thirdly, I would say uh, like, uh, uh, there are a lot of community weekly challenges that happens on Alteryx platform. So you go over there, register yourself and get uh, like uh, try those challenges and uh, you will be getting more and more uh, knowledge on the Alteryx tools. So awesome. the, these will be three basic steps you should go through. And after that, if you still feel that they, you need something, uh, you can go through YouTube and even in our, our YouTube channel, we have a lot of videos on Alteryx. You can go through them. We have, we have uh, like covered different use cases, uh, which are challenging points for developers. So that will be uh, helpful for you. And 
at last, like if you want to do some courses, uh, you can look for them on Udemy and other portals. Awesome. Thank you so much, uh, Weber. Everybody, if you like, I, like to ask Weber any specific questions around Altrix, please do put your questions in the comment section below. I'll tag the Altrix playlist, what um, Weber was referring to in the comments and in the description also. I'll put a pinned comment. Uh, you can click on it see what is going on that way you know what to, i think he covered union uh, batch macros altrix certifications there are a lot of uh, knowledge around altrix on our channel so do take a look at it and if you like please do click that like and subscribe button thank you so much viber um, till next week once we come up one more conversation video take care thank you